1945, there were rumors about plans for a new library on the OAMC campus. The new library would be placed across Washington Street and would be large enough for the anticipated 10 to 12,000 student enrollment in the future. After years of planning, the contract for the building was approved October 1948, but construction was delayed because of unavailable federal funds and scarce building materials. The building was delayed two more years because of the controversy about blocking off Washington Street, which was considered a central city street. After years of battling local merchants, OSU was granted permission to begin construction for the new library on Washington Street. The groundbreaking ceremony was held May 28, 1950, with 500 people in attendance. The ceremony was combined with spring graduation activities. Almost immediately after the ceremony, Bennett called Assistant Dean of Engineering Melvin Lohman and expressed his concern for the setting of the building. Later that night, the stakes were moved 40 to 50 feet south. The opulent building that could hold over 2,000 students at one time opened February 1, 1953. The front doors were made of bronze, the lobby was marble, and the central spire was 159 feet tall. Finally, all campus book collections were under one roof. About 400,000 volumes were housed in the library when it first opened. Car catalog desks, browsing, and reference rooms were located on the second floor along with administrative offices. Each academic subject had its own library staff. In 1977, the building was dedicated to former Dean of Libraries, Edmund Lowe. Lowe played an influential role in the design of the library. He is widely known for pioneering the OpenStack system in the United States. The Edmund Lowe Library services over 1.5 million students each year and remains the academic center of campus.